Hey, I am like <laughs> uh, a good halfway through what I'm planning to do, what I had planned to do. You, you know, dude, I do a lot more than I realised. Like, a hell of a lot more than I realised. So it's um, 10.26 right now, PM, because we're on like opposite sleeping hours, because that's just, that's just like, generally that's our default. Um, I know we have ADHD. I think that has something to do with it, to be honest. I think it might be like biologically encoded. Um, also, I'm sure there's a lot of reasons that make sense in types of trauma and there's just a lot of reasons but it's like not really a hindrance to us until we need to hit the shops or do something in like capitalism hours and then then is a pain in the ass but like generally from day-to-day -day life that suits us fine so the last video that i put up like our morning uh that was at 5 47 p.m. and I'd pretty much just woken up so like I maybe woke up 5 p.m. ish and um, I slept like 12 hours or something because because I need so much rest during oh my god the amount of sleep I need with trauma processing I've sewn a new hat together I'm really happy about it it's got huge horns and I keep like like biffing Ryan in the face with them um, I tried to biff my dog in the face, but he tried to steal them. So, my morning, if I was going to go through it, I like journaled, like read some therapy beans, um, sort of almost napped on the floor, and had like a dog heap with Ryan and the dogs. Plus, the dog's been fussed by dogs. <laughs> she really did like pet my head. Sat with some emotions. Thank you. Yeah, I watched Valentine's vlog because he, he won't let me watch them if I'm like, if he's anywhere near the front. And um, he finally let me watch his vlog. And I was just like, ah, oh, dude, just so fucking un just impressive and d uh, unbelievably cool. Really, really love how he's handling such a d insane cacophony of shit. And I'm seeing that again here as well. And like, all of us, all of us are doing so much more than I realized. Um, So that I like, bullet journaled what my day had been like so far, felt some emotions periodically, acknowledged my thoughts, comfortable and uncomfortable, kept emotionally regulated while doing so, um, so like I, I can be uncomfortable and acknowledging uncomfortable things and painful things without it like pulling me completely into an unbearable amount of emotion or a depressive episode or just not being able to move off the floor or just like being so overwhelmed and stuff so I can just keep going about my day and feel periodically uncomfortable and then periodically feel better like my emotions are not stagnating at the minute they are moving which is just trying to trying to vlog and then vlogged our morning ate some yogurt took some vitamins washed our face that was as far as I got my plans were uh like to do makeup have only just begun to commence like within the next few minutes after this I'm going to be doing makeup I have literally just finished doing like all of the makeup removing and toning things that I need to do to be able to actually apply new makeup <laughs> and then um there's notes from Val who this was then, like, the next note is at 7. So it was like 5.47, and then the next note's at 7. He did, like, his usual 50 sit-ups, and kind of chilled in the background. And relented in letting me watch his vlog. Because I was like, please, 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 like always. But, uh, which I really appreciate. Uh, we sent some messages to some friends, like, replied to a couple of friends. And then I, like, 
upon en engaging, like, so, <sighs> there's already tons of stuff here, like, like, to have both of us going about our days and doing our things and, like, having one of us not push the other out, it's still taking work to have us, like, both in the exact same place in the front, able to use the body equally at once, but, like, to have one of us just behind the other and both of us present and co-conscious, we're... It, it's, it's taken so many months' work through so many different fusions and stages. So, like, that's, that's already more work just within this one page than I realised we were doing. And then the exercise is so that Like, we have to do regular exercise to have any sort of regulated dopamine at all, and... Like... Being able to sit and kind of thought share... Thought share is tricky. Emotion share is like... We're getting a bit better at that. And like, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Like, he holds way more. There's a lot more in his experience than I have to deal with. But just like sitting and feeling all of that and like allowing that to all be as it is and not to freak out and then not to have the parts of me that are host like go into denial because of the unbelievably like solid evidence of the DID of like him moving the body around me to do sit ups and stuff. And me not freaking out about it is way more work than I realised we were doing. It's taken, like, that is also months of work to not fly off into denial or block him out or, like, get just blocked out because I can't disprove what's going on. And, like, then to allow some of his emotions to be shared with me so that they're, like, so that we can kind of, like, I guess spread the weight a bit. Although arguably I know he still takes like a shit ton more, but that's all fucking tons of work that we've been practicing for months to do and it's taken loads of like absolutely tons of work to be able to stay grounded throughout all of that. So all of that is way more effort than I was like reading it back, going, Oh shit, this is already like it's written so casually, but actually it's like it's like, I don't even know, it's like two years of solid practice every day with all of these topics that so I'm like, oh yeah, shit, no, we've been working on this. And then responding to our awesome friends, which I am so grateful to have and love responding to. And also, this is, it's a lot of effort for us to be able to reach out and connect with people after all of our experiences. Like, to be able to be open and vulnerable and authentic and to try to connect and to reach out with two people is like shit tons of work and I think that one's still quite difficult and I think causes pain for people in here who are built to basically protect us from people getting close and to keep people away so it's like going against everything that feels right and normal and natural and I think it's quite painful and involves a lot of feeling like terror and grief and really like to be able to bear ourselves to vulnerability after our experiences without letting our experiences dictate how defensive we feel or what our assumptions will be to be able to go in and see people as they are and not through any lens and have clean and wholesome interactions it takes a lot of work so that already is like shit tons more and then can I read this bit like there's one note here that is just like him being like just chilling in the background and he was just 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 lying behind me like chilling in the back of the van you would not know that anything was going on and he's like oh yeah the emotion is like a fire tornado inside me like sort of i can 
see and feel it. It's like it is like an overbearing fucking tornado of fire just spinning and him just like caught in the eye of it just watching in like this still this eye of it where he's just breathing and he seems so fucking chill and I'm like fucking fire tornado fire tornado you're fucking chill and there's a fire tornado like holy fucking shit Just all of the writing, everything about it is just like, oh yeah, fire tornado, so casual. That's what emotions feel like. Like, So this is all just going on. This is just the experience of like, I don't even know how many different overwhelming emotions that are going on for him while I'm going about this that I can feel, but not to the extent or to the depth. I can't, it doesn't go as deep in me, even if I try to feel it as much as I can. And I am open to feeling it as much as I can. So it's like this constant weight, really, and this constant, like, hectic spinning of multiple thoughts and views and beliefs and emotions, all, and cognitive distortions that we have to, like, battle to see through. And it's like all this stuff just going on in the background while we're having a casual day that I don't, I don't think about because it's just kind of normal to us. And then uh, listen to some music. Uh, which was cool because we haven't we haven't really been able to listen to music for a while, and um, like a few days without connecting to it, I've missed it. So that was that was fun. We lit the last. Ryan got these bleeding vampire candles that are really fun, <laughs> and I've been making a candle holder with them. We like use tin foil and a key ring to make it the right size and shape. And then we're just letting the wax bleed out all around so that we end up with like a wax candle holder because we didn't have any candle holders. But that's the last one and I'm sad, but I fucking love journaling by candlelight. It's really nice. Um, and then as I replied to like, basically the, like the only two people other than Ryan that we talked to, well, two systems, two Maybe more than two people, but the only two bodies we we are like three bodies that we talk to really, other than Ryan. Then I started. I got like a guilt slam of, and had to and went through some journaling to work out and was like, okay, I am under zero obligation to respond to fucking any other message from anyone that I may feel obligated to respond to because we've also got like a backlog list of like these are all the people I would like to be in daily communication with that I can't quite manage to extend the 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 amount that it takes from us to be able to sorry I can't quite do it with everyone yet that I would like to but like got guilt slammed of like would have had a cycle through negative like thoughts of like oh I'm such a bad friend or like sort of things like that um but instead caught it and just like sat in the guilt and felt it and didn't let it travel to thoughts in my head and kept pulling myself back to just the physical sensation of the guilt and breathing through it <sighs> and journaled again it was like not my responsibility to respond in any time frame but people who know us will understand this we have to do what is right for us without overextending ourselves, or we'll just burn out over and over again and like lots of reaffirming that I'm within my rights to do what is healthy for us uh, lots of working through that there um, sort of gaining awareness of like where these emotions come from in me and why they're there and how they don't serve us and aren't necessary now so there's like this introspection and the sitting with emotions going on. Uh, and then sudden exhaustion after that, dissociated into memory lane for a bit, and then came back around to like thoughts of how we've changed in this last year and how much shit that we could have fucked up, that like we c it could have been done so much worse and so much shit that we've done so fucking well. And like, 
so many occasions that we've chosen to take the uncomfortable, the painful, the difficult route and like pull together as a system and powered through all of the difficult things that we could have shied away from. Like how many times over and over again this last year we've stepped outside of our comfort zone and like taken the direction of growth instead of comfort and familiarity and how much we've had to learn how to support each other in here and how to show up for each other and how much of how we interact together has changed and how we're still learning really and growing into new entirely new and unknown and unfamiliar um, roles for each other I guess and learning to support each other and learning to be what we all need and it's it's so much like change and uncertainty and fear and stepping into the unknown and letting go of the un like letting go of all of the familiar that could have kept us stuck but we've chosen to like again and again over so so many events and occurrences to to do this to do the work um letting go of everything we were used to uh then i journaled that all of this had happened and then i made an instagram post because i was like looking at our self-care corner which i really like it's like it's got tons of supportive awesome queer friendly art from the papa artist would recommend and then it's got art that people in this system have done. And then it's got makeup remover and cotton pad stuff. Really accessible, because I need it really accessible or I never use it. And nail varnish and makeup and bag of makeup. And like, you know, sticky notes and loads of stickers. And an awesome music box that Ryan got us. I fucking love. Oh my God, just so much shit here. So much stuff here that he's got us. I'm just fucking love. An awesome crown and little little cute spoon necklace. It is the cutest little spoon necklace that's ever spooned. And um like grounding talismans that we've been bought by our amazing friends who I only don't name because I have not pre-discussed, hey, you're okay to be named about this thing, but <sighs> like they sit there to be put on and messed with when we need grounding. So I was like thinking about all of this how we've changed and how we've grown and like looking at our self-care corner and um appreciating every fucking awesome person in our lives and that kind of really helped um i guess i don't i didn't i guess this has taken a lot of like mechanical we do this to counteract this, but now it's automatic because I didn't think about it, but that did kind of directly counteract the overwhelm and the guilt that I was feeling about not being able to message everybody that I wanted to message. So, and like the burnout feeling, so that really helped. Um, at this point, it was 8.53. And in the back of my mind this whole time, I was kind of loosely thinking about like my plans, you know, my expectations of the day. And I was like loosely thinking about how you, it can I, we have like a loose, you know, they're more what you call guidelines than actual plans, I think is fair to say. And I didn't realize, but like there's a lot of work going on in the background as well to every time I feel that or think it to like breathe and slow down and become aware that be adaptive to be adaptive and to be able to like go with the flow and go with my brain rather than hold rigidly the expectations of things I'd want to do and see anything as a failure just because the plans have morphed and changed to be fluid with what my brain's doing so like to be fluid with them rather than rigidly hold on to what I had planned to do in, as a set I have not done exactly that I have failed thing to like let go of all that and be like 
this is this is me being adaptive this is me moving with what i need to move with this is me meeting myself where i'm at and like i'm not on anyone's clock but mine i'm not on anyone's time but mine and like to do all of the work of recognizing all of this so more work than i even realized um made an instagram video about the self-care corner journaled about how much I appreciated how much we've done to change how we interact inside and outside this system, our core beliefs, our core concepts, and right the way from like core belief and core concept all the way up through to thought processes, like thought formations, um, ha habits, so like what my self-talk will be, what I will respond to insecurities with, how I will, what I will catch and notice is even a process and respond to. Like the fact that amount of work we've done to change all of this right up to our like daily actions and behaviors. So like changing everything from a real core level. Um, there's like a lot of journaled gratitude and appreciation about that. And then I suddenly felt like fucking rage and hope and gratitude and betrayed and burdened by the emotions yet unaddressed from yesterday because I've still got like I tried to journal before sleeping about some unprocessed emotions and just got too tired and collapsed and they've been in the back of my mind since so I'm like I plan to journal and I plan to acknowledge those and work through those and I can feel them but I also then acknowledging that those are there and acknowledging that I'm learning to be patient without avoiding my emotions I'm prepping myself to address them in my own time when I feel ready and so that's why like I want to get my makeup done I want to look pretty I want to look prettier <laughs> thanks I want to look cuter <laughs> and um are oh, you throwing me I want to feel grounded in my body and have a self-image that makes me feel myself and existent and that's what makes me happy and then I will address these emotions so like doing all of that but not letting it be like something that I feel rushed for because I can't make my brain move at a different pace in a healthy way than it is all I can do is meet it where it's at and we kind of mix my plans and what it needs and compromise and go okay cool you know, it's, and then I got starving suddenly, so I grabbed some food, and then it was 9.35, and then Ryan was awake, so I talked with Ryan Frazier, we had great conversations, like, a lot about behaviour and brains, actually, and perspectives and experiences, he's so fucking smart, and I really, really love his opinion, it's very valid, very useful. I love that about all the people in our lives, actually, their, their perspective and their thoughts on, and their introspection and their self-awareness is, like, fucking mesmerising. Oh, holy shit. I like that about us as well, everyone in this system. Oh my god. <laughs> Unplanned moment of, like, holy shit and awe and gratitude. And then, and then my brain goes, oh no, this is too excited. This is too good. Like, what's gonna happen? And then the work to be like, no, no. I can be this excited, I can be this grateful, our life can be this good, we can have people that are this awesome around. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Uh, we watched a video, like, there's this healthy gamer video, which is pretty cool, I like him, uh, on motivation, and then started watching another one on how to process trauma, because I wanted to see if it was like, if the stuff we're stumbling across is the same stuff that he'll suggest or talk about and also um if there's other stuff that we can learn and just like compare notes <clears throat> learn new things uh see how what we're doing is already like useful in what ways and like just thought it'd be cool so we watched a bit of that um and now i'm gonna use makeup remover and toner <laughs> so like 5 30 six seven eight nine it's like four hours on from when i said i got around to doing what i planned to do for the morning which 
is totally okay and if anything kind of cool because it was like like um it was nice to see that I could move with my brain and that I can have that that I can change something from like like a rigid goal to like a a gentle overview over there somewhere and at some point I'm I want to accomplish that and like I'm still going to be happy whenever I do it and like let's see what happens in the meantime you know between now and then so it's been really cool tracking um because like normally I journal and stuff but I don't I don't notice how much work we do in the amount of time and the amount of actions like where plans meet fluidity I don't notice it so much um but like journaling it and shit for this vlog I've really noticed so that's been really cool and then 10.15 there's check I have used makeup remover and toner and now I get to play with makeup and now I'm listening to music and taking a pause from the video because take it in bursts when it's like heavy shit and then Yeah, just then journaling, being like, whoa, I didn't realise how much consistent work we do, actually, and how much, like, everyday activities. So, like, I've gone through so much already just in, like, my morning routine of four hours. And I wonder what this routine would look like for somebody that isn't part of a system like would they plan to do makeup and just literally like go and go and do the makeup that sounds fake that sounds so impossible i would love to know what this routine looks like for somebody that isn't part of a system and like shit i i have loved knowing what this routine is like with us as well i feel like in the past i've really gotten a bit hung up on like Oh, it's like hours later that I wanted and I still haven't managed to do and I still haven't managed but now I see what I have managed in that time and like all of the work that goes into all of these things and I've I've had fun doing it I've taken my time and I've felt relaxed and non-rushed and non-pressured so like <sighs> it's been really cool we do so much more work than I even realised. Like, I knew we were doing a shit ton of work. It's like, you know, I, I knew that. I knew it was, like, consistent all day, everyday work. But I guess I, I didn't notice how much or, like, how often or, like, in how many activities it shows. And it's it's really cool having it all, like, jammed out like this. So this has been my morning from between 5.30pm to about 11pm and then I'll be ready to do like more brain powered things after this. So this is like, I would still say morning, this is like morning into midday, early afternoon. It's a lot of work. Uh.